Well, good day, too. It's welcome to your one week garden update. The weeds are growing great. Uh, I'm not doing too good, I don't think, with the uh, peaches and cream here. Something happened. I think something got in here also and uh, reorganized a bit of stuff for me. Um, the sweetie corn kind of stuff they seem to really like, and uh, these ones haven't gotten too bad. I mean, if you can see them in there, I don't really want to go in there and start weeding yet because there's a lot of small ones yet. But I think it's got a problem here with uh, peaches and cream corn uh, right here. I think it's got a problem with uh, not enough light. This tree above me here keeps, uh, it's got light now, but uh, I mean, not much more <laughs> of the rest of the day, right? Where this stuff over here, which is the uh, festia, festiva corn, whatever they call it, the colored corn, colory corn, fiesta corn, that's it. It's actually doing pretty good. We're darn near knee high and it's not the 4th of July yet. Knee high by the 4th of July, that's what they say. So it's doing pretty good. Not quite so good on the popcorn. Those two ones. I did go up with my little mini tiller. Brrr, up the middle. <laughs> Worked pretty good, actually. Not too bad at all. Hopefully I didn't tear any roots, but uh, I think they pretty well go straight down. But uh, yeah, I just got a few of the weeds out. I did a couple of rounds around here. I'm like, oh, this is going to take forever, this thing. So... I did get the big tiller out the other night, last night I guess there, and um, kind of went up these rows just to clean them up a little bit. And I want to do some more hilling now. They were all full of weeds, so we got rid of them. So that's good. Uh, sunflowers here, not doing too, too bad. Something got in and chewed a bunch of them, so I don't know how that's gonna go over, but tomatoes here, I gotta do some more weeding yet. Oh, the weeds, man, they grow great. Tomatoes aren't doing too bad. So far, so good. No flowers, of course, yet, but they got to get a little bit bigger yet. So that corn's actually doing really good, and we can't eat that corn. I guess you could if you wanted to, but... Uh, so we never planted sunflowers in here. We did them only at the stakes. So something has relocated stuff for me. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, that little patch I didn't get in there, but there is that... Um, looks like a strawberry, the corn, little wee cobs. Hopefully that comes. I don't know. Uh, sunflower there's one on the other side they pretty much chewed it down to a stick so these uh, these are pretty good I did get some water on these this morning but you wouldn't know it so that little strand there is one of those great big giant onions so we got that one that one that one that one one disappeared here one there one there one there one there one there pumpkin that didn't get planted there so something's moved it I don't know, we've got three pumpkins or whatever there coming up there, so that's good. And uh, more onion, more onion, onion. This one's doing really good here. Onion, onion. So these, I'm not 100 presidents sure what it is yet, but uh, we'll see, I guess. I should have wrote down a little more what I put where. And this one, and that one's got some nice big leaves. And uh, down here we planted some more of that peaches and cream and it's, uh, I don't know, something, something got in here and chewed some. Well, that's not good. We planted quite a bit. There's a row on the string, two, three, and then four. Hopefully we get something out of it, but I think next year, no corn. Done with corn, I think. It's just there's too many things that want to chew it, but potatoes aren't looking too bad. I did some down at the... Uh, a little round garden in the cemetery and they're actually in flower now i can't show you those though, of course but uh yeah not doing too bad i got the tiller in here it just fit through nice but uh some of them were a little bit uh, a little bit tight <laughs> so i had to go and kind of hill it back in uh just go back this way actually so nothing in here but this was all pumpkins and i did some squash at stake in the middle that's where we're going to go over there next right there I did some spaghetti squash there. Nothing come up there at all. I did uh, replant some just now, actually. I don't know whether I'm too late, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully they'll come up. Right at this stake, I did uh, 18 of them <laughs> in a circle around that stake. So and I squished them in and I stepped on them. So hopefully someone maybe won't dig them up or relocate them. This is nothing, I guess. I don't see any pumpkin material they should be up kind of like like that one by now and these are just all weeds so what I'll probably do is get the big tiller in here and just uh, go through and chew them all up again I don't think I'm gonna do that right now I got my my gooder stuff on so but that's been planted anyways and yeah we're back to here so a bit of growth 
quite a bit on that, I think. Those have come up quite a bit since the last week. Uh, let's go this way now. These potatoes, I think, were white ones. If I remember, and they're eh, about the same-ish. They've maybe grown a little more. Uh, over here, we got the uh, <clears throat> marijuana. No, I'm kidding. Tri tri tricking you. Actually, I do. I do have some grown here. I'll show you. Look right there. It is. It's actually not marijuana, but <laughs> it sure looks like it, doesn't it? I can't remember the name of this stuff, but it, it looks like a marijuana leaf, but it's actually not. They don't smell like they should. Yeah, they just smell like grass. It just it's actually, they don't smell like anything. <laughs> Which is weird, but look at the buds coming on them. Whoa, those are the best ones. No, I'm just kidding. But I don't know what that is. It's not marijuana though. But anyways, uh, these are coming pretty good, but they've got, um, I'm not sure why those are turning yellow. I'm wondering if we haven't watered them enough or over watered them. It's fairly damp. These are some more of those onions, so I don't know if I'm going to be planted too many in there because they're supposed to be like huge. And the cilantro is coming up. This stuff's really good um, for like in burritos or stuff like that. This is grass. That should come out. Do some weeding. And uh, more of these, man. You can smell that garlic. Holy cow, these things are ever potent. Like you can just smush it. Oh, it didn't have very much. Let's just take a sample. Here, smell. Smell it. Look at my nail. It's coming back, sort of. So when I smashed all up. A eh, little bit of garlic, <coughs> garlicky there. The... Uh, Catnip's coming good. This stuff is just terrible smelling. Oh, God. Oh, that smells like pot. Not that I know how that smells, but, you know, our neighbor, not the lady that lives there, the live-in lady that lived in the other apartment there was growing some one year, and we kept smelling skunk, smelling skunk. What is that skunk? I was over there helping Mona one day. I'm like, oh, I found what the skunk was, sure enough. Well, let's have a look at these gourds. Oh, they've taken off. Look at the size of the leaves on them now actually got a bit of grass growing in there too surprisingly so we got good 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 little one started there seems to be behind good good and I think there was uh, something's chewed off that there it looks like that's poor poor thing there's the, the remnants wow that's turned crispy there you go yeah something chewed that leaf off and that might have been a frost kill there. And I don't know what this is. It was in the pile of stuff. It might be like a barley or something. It just kind of looks like grass right now, but I'm gonna just let it grow. See what we get, but uh, gourds. That's like pure manure. <laughs> so if they don't grow good in that, I don't know. That plant seems to be pretty darn healthy though. That one and the one on the other side. This poor guy here, I don't know. He, uh, something got bitten on him. But this was horse. Looks like a bit of wood shavings too and alpaca manure. So should be pretty good stuff. But anyways, there's your garden update, I guess, for today. I think we got, oh, no, we didn't get these. Sorry, keep forgetting these ones here. All the weeds are growing up around these two. Oh, man. Two hills of potatoes here. And uh, that one kind of seems like it's been hurting a bit. I don't generally water these a whole lot. Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 plants in there. So, but I think next year, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna plant. It might be, uh, it might be just potato. Honestly, they're simple, easy. Put them in. Nothing seems to bother them unless you get potato bugs. Hi, bro. Unless you get those potato bugs, which. Honestly, I've never had them before. I did have a problem one year, though, with the potatoes. Something got into the actual fresh potato and demolished the whole inside of the potato and left the skin. So I was digging them out, ready to come out, and uh, they were nothing but hollow shells. So that year sucked. We didn't get anything, but I haven't had that problem since. So um, now I've been putting the manure in, so I think maybe that maybe helps kind of burn the... Uh, the little insects or whatever that are maybe down in there but uh in the next uh well you should let these things 
flower a bit and then they should be starting to produce their uh, offspring underground offspring and uh, then maybe we'll dig a hill and see you know how they're looking so anyways I guess that's it for your garden update for this Sunday anyways thanks again for watching we'll catch you all later and we'll see you in another week and I bet you these gourds will be twice that size should be awesome <laughs>